LabConco's Capture Portable Fuming System brings safe cyanoacrylate or super glue fuming to the crime scene. Fuming or fixing fingerprints at the crime scene ensures the fingerprints will not be smudged or distorted during transport. Processing evidence on site saves time and money. This unique product includes a programmable digital heater, a clear fuming chamber, a built-in blower, a combination filter cartridge, and a complete set of accessories. To begin, unfasten the clips on the clear chamber and remove the transport cover and keep it nearby in case you need to reference the simple usage instructions. To stabilize the capture manifold, release the leveling foot by pulling the locking pin and sliding the leveling foot downward. The unit can now sit level in an upright position. It is very important to pre-treat the interior of the chamber with Rain-X or Rain Block. Without treatment, the superglue fumes will deposit on the clear chamber, making visibility difficult. Repeat this surface treatment after every 25 fuming sessions. Assess the crime scene and determine what accessories will be needed for evidence processing. Position the appropriate hooks and shelves on the support manifold. Multiple pieces of evidence can be processed simultaneously to maximize interior space and processing time. A fingerprint can be placed on a glass microscope slide to act as a control. Place the slide in one of the three open slots. Attach the clear chamber to the fuming unit, making sure the edges of the chamber make contact with the black gasket on the fuming unit. Secure the clear chamber by locking the clasps on each side. Begin by pressing the set button twice. Now press the up or down button to increase or decrease the current set temperature that is visible in the display. The capture heater can be set from 120 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Traditional superglue fuming methods use a set point of 200 degrees Fahrenheit and take approximately 9 to 15 minutes to process. In the microburst method, the heater is set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and the fuming process is complete in 1 to 3 minutes. Push the set and the down button simultaneously to exit the programming mode. The display shows the current heater temperature. It will take the heater three to five minutes to reach the set temperature. If room humidity level is below 74%, it is important to increase the humidity level in the fuming chamber. Place no more than one to two drops of water in the aluminum pan and place the aluminum pan on the front heater receptacle. Cyanoacrylate can deposit on the chamber walls if it becomes supersaturated, making visibility difficult. Begin the fuming process by placing four to six drops of superglue in an aluminum pan. Open the heater door and place the aluminum pan on the back receptacle. Close the heater door. Development time is dependent on the set point temperature. In high heat conditions, the fumes will appear in the first minute. In low heat conditions, it may take over 10 minutes for the first fumes to appear. The fumes will be very faint. During fuming, carefully watch the control slide and evidence to ensure fingerprints are not over-processed. Once fuming is complete, switch the three-way button to vent. Open the heater door and move the aluminum pan containing superglue to the cooling bridge. Leave the heater door slightly open. Allow the blower to run for five minutes. After five minutes, unlatch the clear chamber and retrieve the evidence. Once all the evidence is processed, the capture portable fuming system can be quickly disassembled and placed into the compact carting case. Package the accessories in the foam insert. Check to make sure all aluminum pans have been removed from the heater before packaging. Pull the locking pin and slide the leveling foot to the upward position. Return the fuming unit to the clear canister. Finally, place the transport cover on the top and secure the clasp to the lid. The capture is now ready for transport to the next crime scene.